Hello, this is the Game Queen. We are back with the Magic School Bus Explores the World of Bugs. It's just called Explores Bugs. Oh, my bad. We were... Uh, uh, last time, we were in a pond. We found bugs that have four eyes, which is very scary. And uh, we clicked on stuff. Like we did the rest of this game. But we are now in a game show. So I need to select how many players. One, because I'm playing with my sad, lonely self. One player. Going it solo, eh? Stop reminding okay, me. Okay, here's how it goes. We got a payload of nectar and prizes that are all worth trying for. You click a panel on the board, I ask you a question, and then you give me an answer. Simple, no problem. A right answer gets the prize, a wrong answer, and you gotta try again. Got it? Go ahead, click a panel. I'm gonna make it hard, cause... I'm okay, an adult. that's the way you want. Okay, here's how it goes. We got a payload of next one player. Going it solo, eh? Yes. Okay, here's how it goes. Okay, we're gonna, we got yeah. a payload of nectar and prizes that are Stop. all worth trying for. You put a panel it. on the board, I ask you a question, and then you give me an answer. Simple, no problem. A right answer gets the prize, a wrong answer, and you gotta try again, buddy. Got it? Okay. Go ahead, click a panel. Okay. These bugs are like the Vanna White of bugs. See how you like this one. One of these bugs is a big sucker. <laughs> Which one is it? Uh... Grasshopper. Assassin bug. Ground beetle. I'm so smart I paid attention like two videos ago. No, that's not the what? right answer. Let's pick a new question. I could have sworn that was it. Another one coming your way. Okay, now all of these dumb. guys look pretty ferocious. Which one of them really can't hurt you much? Stag beetle, scorpion, assassin bug. No, that's oh. not the right answer. Okay, let's get Darn on it. with it. Try another one. Okay, I'm terrible at this. If I get all of them wrong, I will be very upset. Here comes another one. One of these youngsters can build its own case with shells and stones. Anybody else agree with me that this is difficult? Caddisfly larva. Mayfly limb. Dragonfly limb. That's it. You're so smart. It's getting to really bug me. The caddisfly larva makes its own case. It even makes its own silk to glue it together. Smart little squirt, eh? And here's what you want. Our sharpshooter has won 50 nectar. Yay. How about that? Okay, choose your prize. Okay, by the way, it's cute the fireflies light up when you win. Here's another one coming at you. Which one of these bugs can catch mosquitoes? Uh-oh. <laughs> Dragonfly adult. Bumblebee. Nope. Cranefly. I don't know. Which one is the answer? Cranefly. Dragonfly adult. Let's say dragonfly. Oh, I won. Yes. You aced it. Dragonflies love a mosquito feast. And here's what you want. 100 nectar. Oh, my God. Come on. Time to pick another pack. I'm so excited. Okay. Here's another one coming at you. This guy's a better fisherman than my Uncle Manny. And he's one of the best. So, which one is it? What? <laughs> okay. Dolomites spider. Argiope. Crab spider. Okay, what? Dolomites spider. I'm gonna guess this one because I don't actually know. I know that. But Dolomites spider sits on a lily pad. Dangling one leg in the water until he can zap a fish swimming by. What a technique. Louie, you're on. Yeah, Bugsy, our clever contestant can start packing now for a memory-making tropical vacation at the Happy Face Spider Jungle Inn. Come on, oh, I'm yeah. to pick another panel. Yeah, I'm going to the Happy Face Jungle Spider Inn. Woo! Another one coming your way. This dad carries eggs on his back. Oh, isn't that sweet? Okay, who is he? We have not heard about this one yet. Uh-oh. 
giant water bug, honeybee, diving beetle. Or maybe we have? Oh, shoot. Giant water bug. Let's guess. Right you are. You're some kind of smart guy. He's pretty fierce, but the giant water bug is a good dad. He takes care of the eggs until they hatch. He's really a softy. Louie, you're on. 75 nectar. Woo! Now, let's go to another question. Pick a pen. I'm so good at this. Here comes another one. You can use this bug to tell a temperature. Which one is it? That would be a cricket. Field cricket. Snowy tree cricket. Grasshopper. Uh oh, there are two types of crickets. Field cricket. No, that's not the right oh, answer. Come let's on. Pick a new question. How am I supposed to know which cricket? Here's another one. Come on, at you. I'm gonna get like 12 comments that are gonna be like, what will so a rat tailed dumb. maggot be when it grows up? Um, oh, okay. Probably that one. I'll mark. No, that's what? not the right answer. Uh, Time for another question. I lost a prize. Uh, what you think? Two. Okay, this is it. The final question. Here comes another one. Which one of the following is a butterfly? I can do this. <laughs> I think I can do this. Luna. Morning cloak. Polyphemus. That's it. Yes. You're so smart. It's getting to really bug me. The morning cloak is the real butterfly, yeah? Those other guys are phonies. I mean, moths. Louie, you're on. Our sharpshooter has won 50 nectar. That's right. How about that? And that's it. You cleared the board. Let's see how many nectars you're taking home with you. Oh, yeah. I beat Keisha. Why did Dorothy End lose to Carlos? Not makey sensey. Not make sense. Okay. Do you want to play the game again? No. That's all for now, folks. But join us again soon for another round of Bugs Are It, or else you gotta deal with me. Okay. Threatening me? That's fine, too. Let's get back on the bus. Your quick is my command. The jungle. Let's go to the jungle. Oh my god, yay. The jungle's just divine. And I don't have animation. And Sorry. welcome to the jungle. A lush and luxurious home for bugs who like tropical temperatures. Outside. Get out and walk about. Sorry, I'm yawning. Ignore that. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay, you are something. It's great being a fantastically strong Hercules beetle. If anybody challenges me, I lock my spiny horns around him and flip him over. Just like flipping a pancake, right, Ralphie? Yeah, pass me the syrup. Oh, shoot, I forgot to do something. My bad. <laughs> Up to freshwater pond. Back to the pot looking. Yep, I didn't do this again. I did. Uh, yep, I didn't do that. This caddisfly larva has built its own house with shells and stones from the bottom of the pond. Wow! Not every kid can build their own playpen. If you think you see a mosquito, but you don't hear any buzzing, you're probably looking at a crane fly. That was a good use of my time. The place to the jungle. Just this is one hot place. That's way. That's way cool. She's about to say, but I did not hear. The praying mantis is very useful in the garden because it eats so many destructive insects. It can crunch grasshoppers, crickets, and even small birds in its strong jaws. I wonder if it's ever tried jawbreaker bubble gum. Okay. Assassin bugs are blood suckers. Some attack other bugs, and some go after mammals, including people. Yeah. Oh, gruesome. And I'm talking about their knife side. Hmm. That bird had a good scare when the owl butterfly flashed its eye spot. Those enormous eyes look like they belong to a fierce predator, like me. Not a helpless butterfly. 
Wow, isn't that beautiful? That Morpho butterfly sparkles with color. You can see that blue shining nearly a mile away. So, if I got lost in the jungle, I could send out a butterfly beacon? You bet your books, Arnold. When the sunshine glimmers, then the Morpho shimmers. Just casually swing in, and then casually swing out. That's fine. Aw, little baby birdie. So cute. Click beetles aren't easy to catch. They're the acrobats of the insect world. They can flip themselves into the air. With an act like that, they could be in show business. Hmm, maybe they need an agent. Check out the long antennae on this longhorn beetle. Some longhorn beetles have antennae that are five times as long as their body. Even Hercules can't compete with that. Cockroaches avoid light. If you turn on the light, they scatter. Just casually walks up to him and he's not freaking, that's fine. Let's see. Insects have six legs, spiders have eight legs, and centipedes have up to 354 legs. Enough legs for all of them. So I guess centipedes aren't really insects. You're right, Keisha. This bug is not an insect. But isn't it fantastic the way the centipede wins its way, walking in waves on the forest floor? So let that be known, not insects. The dung beetle. Now there's an insect you don't want to get next to. The fact is, Arnold, that the dung beetle helps to keep the earth clean by eating animal droppings and using them to lay eggs in. See? Baby, you have a way of seeing the best in everything. Oh, he said Phoebe. I thought he said baby. Yeah, that was almost, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't want to play tag with a walking stick. They're too hard to see. That's why they can sit right next to a hungry lizard and never get caught. Why is she so scared? <laughs> walking sticks keep still during the day to hide from predators. And at night, they sit around munching on leaves. Sounds like walking sticks don't walk around very much. Maybe they should be called standing sticks. But here in the jungle, there's so much in store that you can explore. Why would you swing in on a vine to tell me that? Why? Fireflies don't shine their lights just for the fun of it. They're actually talking to each other. Whatever they're saying, it's over in a flash. So funny. Bird-eating spiders go hunting in the trees at night. <laughs> they can catch small birds, oh my god. birds, and even snakes. Oh my god. <laughs> no one else see that? Oh my god. On that note, um, yeah. See you guys. <laughs>